In this video, I'm going to explain some regression basics, uh, just so we can get some ideas about how to how to understand um, the mechanics of simple linear regression. Um, with the aid of this example, um, four data points. It's uh, actually some test scores, all taken by me on various tests uh, throughout my lifetime. Um, there was a math component and a verbal component. These are scores out of 800. And there are four observations. Um, as you can see, I've taken the average of my math score. I call it the math score Y. I call the X score, uh, the verbal score, I call that X. Um, anyway, I took the liberty of graphing these. Uh, this may not be the scale, um, so bear with me. But these four points are graphed on here. And I went ahead and graphed x, uh, x bar and y bar, the mean of x and the mean of y, uh, on this graph. And so the whole idea, intuitively, is to find the line that is closest to these four points. Um, obviously, because we have a line, and, uh, and only uh, a line can only connect two points. A straight line can only connect two points. We're not going to hit all all of these points. And in fact, the best line might actually not connect all four. Uh, might not even connect to one of these points. Um, in this case, the best fitting line will look something like this. How do we figure out what A and what B are? Well, it turns out that the way that we figure out uh, what this, where this line ends up in this whole plane here is we look at vertical distances to the line. And it would be really nice to just minimize those vertical distances. Uh, but we can't really just minimize those vertical distances because if we just tried to minimize those vertical distances, well, this one's negative, that one's positive, positive, negative. Pretty soon they'll cancel out, it'll be pretty easy to get zero. So, what we end up doing is we minimize something called the sum of squared errors. SSE for short. We want to think about, well, here is y. Subtract off y hat for that particular observation, square it, and just add up over all the observations. Now this general notation, that really feels kind of weird and it doesn't really feel, uh, feel um, easy to understand. Um, so let me break it down a little bit easier. For this observation, that would be 800 minus, well, y hat has the form of a plus b x there. And so x in this case is 640. And that's square. We can do this for each of the observations. And sort of bookend it out with, uh, with all four of these observations. It seems like a daunting task, and we're going to minimize that by picking A and B, so it minimizes it. That's the idea. Um, so graphically, if you're thinking about where to put this line, you want to move it around, move the slope, move the intercept, you can move those two things, so that it minimizes this sum of squared things that look like this. Now that's starting to look rather daunting. It's feeling perhaps uh, like where, where the heck did that come from? Um, but that, trust me, is the equation uh, given a set of data points for the slope of your simple linear regression line. 
And so, um, given the result of that, we can go ahead and figure out the equation for the intercept once we actually solve it. That's actually going to be y minus b, uh, y bar minus b from there times x bar. It's a lot easier, um, but you'd want to do the slope calculation first if you were actually just computing these by hand. Now, of course, you're not going to be sitting down and trying to figure out these um, via uh, these uh, with just a calculator. Um, there are a lot of uh, similar types of operations there. Uh, you can program this into Excel quite easily, and I'll uh, attach some Excel spreadsheet uh, Excel spreadsheets to sort of show you how this uh, this would work out. Um, turns out that in this case. And you'll see this in the Excel spreadsheet. B is 0 0.735, and A is 334.70. Just applying these formulas. You can go ahead and apply these formulas to these data points. Interpretation of a slope is if you go over 1, the slope is how much you go up. That's the equation of the line. That's sort of, uh, that, that is our interpretation of the equation of the line. So in other words, for every x increase in 1x, we would predict that y goes up by the amount of the slope. In this case, in the context of this, for every one point increase in my verbal score, we would predict that my math score increases by 0.73. And so that's how you would interpret the, in, interpret the slope. And in fact, it kind of has a nice quantitative uh, interpretation. It tells us about the relationship between the verbal score and the math score in this example. And so, so that's a useful thing to know. A would be right here. It's going to be our intercept, where x is 0, and in this case, a is 334.70. Well, that's going to be our predicted value for my math score when my verbal score is 0. That sounds pretty absurd. Um, in fact, it actually is. I'm never going to score a uh, verbal score of zero. And in fact, if you look at the x, uh, the x values, that's way outside of the range. Um, this is perhaps what, uh, what your st statistics professors would call extrapolation. It's outside of the range of your data, and so we get this nonsense prediction um, that my, uh, my math score would be 334 if I had a verbal score of zero. Um, that doesn't really make much sense. Uh, doesn't really have much relevance uh, to this particular question. And so uh, that's just kind of the basics of the slope and the intercept form in, uh, in regression, um, including um, some equations for how to get the slope and how to get the intercept.